do broken girl cosplay here um so essentially this video is just to talk about my very first armor i ever made which was bowser yes i made it before bowser was a thing um so unfortunately i didn't get to record during the most of it because my craft room was a mess and also i was just doing it 24 7 i didn't really have designated time slots like i normally do um so let's work our way from the feet up um i did use these cosplayers as inspiration but there were certain things that either didn't work for my situation or i found that you couldn't find particular materials that they were using in australia so the shoes themselves are just a pair of $25 Kmart shoes I've actually been wearing to work for about a year so they're getting past the point of no return so I thought might as well make them cosplay shoes since I was gonna throw them out anyway I made a shoe cover you can see the seam there I made a shoe cover with duct tape following Kurumuri cosplays instructions I use glue I actually do something slightly different though I use a knife to actually pop the sole off and then using this glue I find this one works great for sticking stuff in the sole it doesn't work so good for sticking stuff actually onto the shoe um, so I don't know how that works uh, but yeah I pop off the sole and tuck the fabric into the space so then you get that nice clean seam which is what I'm personally obsessed with. I personally hate the look of just looking like you have loose material over your shoe. Like I will buy a new pair of shoes just to do this to them. Um, but you can see there's a couple of stitches just to make sure that the zipper stayed in line. And I just used some basic paint to give it a weathered look. As you can see, that's obviously where the elastic is sitting, hence it gave it that weird shape. And I left that out just so I can pull it onto my feet since I do not want to damage the rest of the shoe. Um, the toes are literally just random shapes I cut out and put flex bond. I got some little samples of flex bond uh you can't see it i'll post a picture here it's flex bond so that when i painted it and heated it and morphed it over the shoe it wouldn't break and currently the only lines i can see in the toes is from after me walking around all day uh there was no actual damage done when putting them over the shoe and actually there's no broken tips I've done this technique before and the paint all came off right at the base of the shoe. Um, but yeah, just a little bit of glue on the inside to bring it in. If I had stronger needles at the time, because I realised I'd forgotten these at the last minute, I would have also done an up and down stitch with some strong needles to just give that some extra security. Making our way up are the shin guards. Now, the general shape of the shin is just made with some cheap foam that I got from the reject shop. I got it from the reject shop. Um, as you can I don't know if you can see it, but issue with the reject shop foam is that it's not very good quality and it's full of all those holes the moment you heat it up to shape it. So also an idea with making this cosplay was just I had so much of this foam because a friend of mine who quit cosplay gave me all of their foam so I was more like I gotta use this foam it's been sitting in my house for almost two years oh longer than that um so the general shape is made with that foam this bowser was just cut off and I dremeled down that unwanted texture so that it would sit smooth against it. The spikes are made with Lumen's Workshop Craft Foam. It is a very good concept in the fact that I didn't have to sit there dremeling all of the spikes. 
but it's a lot softer than normal foam is so I found a lot of tips as you can see breaking off before I'd even worn it um, so because of that in case it completely broke off I needed to be able to have some kind of base I actually decided to poke some wire you can see I've curved them in so that wire is going through that into the spike to give it some extra stability um, yay or nay on if that was a good idea as I said this is my very first armor and there's definitely a lot of things I'll do different next time um, but that was just done with all wire in what I'm about to say is just normal wire I got from Bunnings which is a hardware store um, so anytime I say why, I'm referring to that. Um, bits of Velcro were stuck to the sides. Uh, with contact glue, the Seeker contact glue is what I use because all that stuff that I see in cosplay tutorials didn't really work. And in Australia, we wasn't able to find that good quality stuff. Um, I do find that one works quite well. Sorry. I do find that one works a lot better than any of the other ones I've went and purchased in the past. So, I did initially only have one strap. I actually now have two lots. One that I went and added, like, the day before the con. Because, no matter how much I heat shape this, it would not keep its curved shape that I wanted. So it was causing like a buckling effect where the elastic was pulling and it just looked like I had it flat and pulled it in onto my leg. Um, I don't know if that's an issue with the bad quality foam or whether it's the heat in Australia or whether just people always leave their foam sitting on a dummy or something so it will keep its curved shape. But as soon as I sat it down on something, it's like hence this one has been sitting two days on a flat surface and it's flattened almost completely some of them are even gone in the opposite direction which is a bit weird I don't know if that's because of the paint I'm not a hundred percent fortunately none of my friends are into the foam making part of armor they just prefer to make it out of cardboard since they only plan on wearing it once 